Okay. Um, okay. So, assalamualaikum and good evening, everyone. So today we're from Group Four, are going to present our part of the assignment. Next. So the team members are Dan, Mubarak, Ibrahim, and me, Dayang. This is our table of content. We have introduction, aerospace industry players in Africa, location of aerospace industry players in Africa, analysis of aerospace development in Africa, summary and references. So I'm going to start off with the introduction. So what is air aerospace industry? It is stands as beacon of innovation, technological advancement, economic and economic growth. It also is contributing significantly to global connectivity and progress. So our chosen region is Africa. In African context, aerospace landscape is a dynamic tapestry characterized by a diverse array of industry players and evolving subsectors. Africa's aerospace industry is on the rise, expected to reach a value of $10 billion by 2024. This growth is happening in both aviation, air, transport, and the space sector. Uh, South Africa is the continent's leader in aerospace with a thriving industry that designs and manufactures aircraft, parts, satellites, and even entire airplanes. Africa, is also, Africa also acts as a player in the global aerospace market with South Africa supplying components to giants like Boeing and Airbus. So next I will uh, pass it to Ibrahim for the next subtopic. Uh, hello, uh, for the space industry layer in Africa, there are five. First one is MRO sector. Uh, again, move to the next slide. Uh, there are three that I choose here for the player. First is the Egypt Air Maintenance and Engineering. Uh, it's specialized in aircraft maintenance, repair, and overhaul service. They offer comprehensive solutions for various aircraft types, including maintenance, jets, component repair in jeans overhaul and technical training program for aviation professionals. Uh, for the next player is South African Highways Technical. Uh, it's uh, South African Highway offering extensive service for aircraft fleets including maintenance jets, component repair and technical training program. They are the key player in the African aviation industry, ensuring the heaviness and safety of aircraft operating in the region. For the last one for MRO sector is Kenya Airway Technicals. It's providing maintenance repair, maintenance repair overhaul service for its own fleets and other airlines in the region. They specialize in ensuring the safety, reliability, and awareness of aircraft through comprehensive maintenance checks and component repair. Uh, for the next subsector is Aerospace manufacturing sector. The first player is Aerosuit. Aerosuit is a prominent aerospace manufacturing company based in South Africa. It is specializing in the production of aircraft parts and assemblies. They are known for their high quality manufacturing standard and their contribution to various international aerospace programs. Uh, the, the next one is Aeros Contractor Company of Nigeria. It's a Nigerian com aerospace company specializing in aircraft maintenance, repair and overhaul service. They are also engaged in manufacturing aircraft components, contributing to Nigeria aviation sector growth and safety standards. Uh, for the last one is Dineo Aeronautics. Dineo Aeronautics is a leading aerospace and defense technology company based in South Africa. It's specializing in the design, development and manufacturing of aircraft and related system. They are known for their expertise in producing advanced aerospace solution and are the key player in Africa aerospace industry. For the next subsector is system integration sector. The first player is Aerodata. Aerodata specializing in avionic and flight data system integrating for aircraft, providing solution for navigation, communication, and surveillance system. Uh, the next player is Al Salam Aircraft Company. It provides system integration service for military and civil aircraft. 
including avionic upgrades, mission system integration, and aircraft modification. Uh, the last player is sub green tech defense is provide system integration service for defense and aerospace application including aero electronic warfare system communication system and surveillance solution for the next subsector is engineering and design sector uh, the first player is green tech innovation is based on south africa and specializing in aerospace and defense engineering focusing in focusing on avionic electronic system and engineering solution for aircraft and defense application. They are known for their expertise in system design, integration and technology solutions tolerates to meet the complex requirement of military aircraft and defense system. Uh, the next player is Aerobotic. It's based in Af South Africa, specializing in aerospace engineering and drone technology. They focus on designing, developing and completing Unmanned aerial system, uh, aerial system for applications such as agri agriculture and civilians, showcasing expertise in innovative engineering design solutions. For the last one for engineering and design sector is the Egyptian Aviation Academy. It's a renowned institution in Egypt, in Egypt, specializing in aerospace engineering design. They offer comprehensive program focusing on aircraft design, system integration, and advanced engineering technique for the aviation industry. Uh, for the last subsector is education and training sector. Uh, the, the one of the area is the AG Air Training Center provide comprehensive aerospace training and education covering pilot training, cabin crew training, aircraft maintenance and aviation management. It's equipped with state-of-the-art facilities. It's played a vital role in developing skilled professionals for the aviation industry, both domestically and internationally. Uh, the, next, the next player is Uganda Aviation School. It's in, in aviation in Uganda, specializing in aerospace training and education. It's offer a range of program for experienced pilot, aviation technician, and cabin crew member. Uh, the school focus is on developing skilled professionals to meet the growing demand of the aviation industry in Uganda and the East African region. Uh, for the last period is ATNS Aviation Training Academics. is specialized in teaching air traffic management and other aviation subjects. Professional development for people working in aircraft management, aviation safety, and air traffic control is their main goal. The academic contributes to the development of qualified aviation professionals in the area by providing posts and programs targeted at the at improving safety. Next one is the location of the business tree bay in Africa. This is the MRO sector. Next. This one is the aerospace manufacturing. Uh, next, in system integration. And what's in engineering design. And the last one is uh, the education system. So I'll pass to the next speaker. So I will start uh, the analysis of aerospace development in Africa. Uh, we start with the strength and the weaknesses. So for the strength, uh, one of the first uh, strengths is that uh, in Africa, we have uh, growing economies and air travel demand. So the African economy is experiencing a very rapid uh, growth, which uh, is driving a surge in air travel demand, which will create a significant market, market for airlines, uh, like Ethiopian Airlines and aircraft, manufa aircraft manufacturers. Uh, the second one is uh, emerging manufacturing hubs. So S South Africa, Morocco, and Tunisia are emerging manufacturing hubs in the international aerospace market, uh, which leverages the global supply chain niche of major players like uh, Airbus and uh, Boeing. Uh, the, skill, uh, the, the third one is the skilled workforce. Uh, Africa's uh, skilled workforce 
if proper, properly trained and educated, can uh, be uh, of significant uh, contribution to the growth of the industry. If that's if the country's young talent is harnessed uh, effectively, not the country but the continent's young talent is harnessed effectively. Uh, the fourth one is the government support. Uh, South Africa is a prime uh, example of African nations providing government support through joint ventures and domestic research and development. Uh, moving on to the weaknesses, uh, the first one is limited infrastructure. Uh, African countries uh, lack infrastructure, including advanced airports, uh, maintenance facilities, and uh, robust uh, logistics networks. Uh, which hinder the large-scale development of the aerospace industry in the continent. Uh, the second one is underdeveloped uh, research and development. Uh, most African countries' uh, weak uh, research and development capabilities uh, hinder technological growth and innovation in areas like uh, aircraft design and manufacturing through AutoCAD uh, programs. The uh, third one is the fragmented market. The African continent's uh, sheer size and diverse economic levels, laws and policies pose uh, a hard challenge for the standardized operation and market integration due to its geographical dispersion. And finally, we have a limited access to capital. Uh, African companies often struggle to finance large aerospace uh, projects due to the high initial budgets uh, required. Uh, now I'll hand over to Diane to continue. Okay, so I will continue with the opportunities in analysis of aerospace development in Africa. So as you can as you can see here, we've listed four, which are foreign investment and collaboration, MRO growth, drone technology, and also space exploration. For foreign investment and collaboration, partnerships with established international players can bring in technology, expertise, and investment. For MRO growth, the continent's growing aviation sector presents a lucrative opportunity for maintenance, repair, and overhaul MRO services. For drone technology, drone technology can be utilized for various applications from logistics and agriculture to wildlife monitoring and security, boosting economic development. And lastly, space exploration, African countries can collaborate on space exploration initiatives, contributing to scientific advancement and potentially unlocking new resources. Next. Okay, for threats, we have political instability. Political instability in some regions can deter investment and hinder industry growth. For competition, Africa faces stiff competition from established aerospace players in other developing regions like Asia. And then corruption. Corruption can pose a challenge for fair competition and efficient resource allocation within the industry. Lastly, global economic downturns. Economic slowdowns can significantly impact air travel demand, affecting airlines and the overall industry. So next, I'm going to pass to Dane for the analysis revenue or economic growth of the aerospace industry. Hello, uh, thank you, thank you, Diane, for that presentation. So moving on for the analysis of of revenue and economic growth of the aerospace industry in Africa. So just to give an introduction, uh, the aerospace industry in Africa basically is a vital uh, component of the of the continent's economy. Uh, encompassing the commercial aviation, uh, defense, and space exploration sectors. <clears throat> so despite facing uh, numerous challenges, including uh, underdeveloped infrastructure and political instability in some uh, certain regions, uh, basically uh, the industry has shown promising growth potential uh, driven by increasing demand for air travel investments, uh, in infrastructure, and regional collaborations. So as you can see here uh, in the screen, we do have the infographic, which is the African nations with satellites. So basically, uh, this uh, involvement of various African countries uh, in space technology by showcasing the number of satellites each nation owns and the years of their uh, first satellite launches so it is an emphasis showing the growing uh, participation of 
African countries in the space sector. So one of the key points here is basically uh, for satellite ownership, a total of 41 satellites belong to African nations. And three satellites are through multilateral uh, agreements. So uh, as you can see uh, on, on the screen, for South Africa, they, they launched its first, first satellite in 1999. Currently, they own uh, eight satellites. So for the timeline, uh, the timeline uh, at the bottom of the infographic tracks the first launch of years uh, of each country, illustrating the progressive involvement of African nations uh, in space activities over the past few decades. So uh, this uh, infographic effectively captures the, the growing footprint of African nations in space technology. Uh, marking an important milestone uh, in the continent's journey towards uh, technological and economic advancement. So next slide, please. All right, so here we do have the overview of major trends in the African airspace industry. So first is we do have the strong population growth. Basically, this is a significant growth that is expected to boost demand for air travel uh, driven by an expanding middle class and increased urbanization. So the second one is we do have the strong economic growth. Basically, uh, this region's GT GDP is projected to grow by 5%, although there will be significant variations across different countries. And apart from that, economic growth will likely uh, spur investments in aviation infrastructure and increase air travel for business and tourism. Uh, for the third one is we do have the wide global diaspora. So this segment contributes significant, significantly to the aviation market with frequent travel between Africa and global destinations. Uh, for the fourth one is we do have a significant tourism potential. So, uh, the tourism sector is basically a major driver of air travel, attracting international visitors and promoting regional travel. And we have the fifth one, which is the, which is the unmanned traffic demand. Uh, with it, we, it is also stated that poor connectivity hampers the growth of domestic and regional aviation markets, highlighting the need for improved infrastructure and services. And the sixth one is we do have the air traffic uh, liberalization. So liberalization is uh, expected to increase uh, competition, lower fares and improve service quality, benefiting passengers and airlines. And lastly, we do have the large and mass, large land and mass. So uh, Africa's vast geographic expanse favors aviation as a preferred mode of transport for business and tourism. Moreover, uh, the continent's large land area makes uh, air travel essential for efficient and quick transportation, uh, especially in regions with limited ground transport infrastructure. So to conclude this uh, a report, this uh, figure, this trends highlight the dynamic and evolving landscape of the uh, African airspace industry which specifically on the population and economic growth uh, coupled with tourism uh, potential and liberation efforts are poised to uh, drive significant expansion in the sector. Uh, however, uh, addressing these challenges such as the unmet traffic demand and connectivity will be crucial to unlocking the full potential of aviation in uh, Africa. So moving on to our next slide. All right, thank you. So uh, for this one is we do have the catalytic impact of air transport in Africa. So as for the key points, we do have the economic and employment benefits. Uh, so as for the record in 20, 20, 20, 2012, uh, air transport generated around 6.9 million jobs and contributed $80.5 billion. Africa's GDP. Yeah, apart from that, 
air transport in Africa has a significant catalytic, uh, which is the benefits, meaning it positively impacts uh, various sectors of the economy. And apart from that, we are also going to discuss the breakdown of the benefits, which uh, it includes uh, jobs directly associated with aviation, such as those in airlines, uh, handling agents and airport operators and aircraft manufacturing and for the third one we do have also the majority of direct jobs so uh, to talk about this for most direct jobs are basically found at airports and include roles in retail outlets restaurants and other uh, hotels highlighting the importance of airports as employment hubs so th those are like the factors uh, that affects the uh, catalytic uh, impact and apart from that, we are going to discuss the wider impact. Basically, uh, beyond the direct employment, the aviation industry supports a uh, broad range of uh, jobs, economic activities. So it is also a vital role in overall economic landscape of Africa. So uh, to give a sum up for this uh, figure, uh, the infographic demonstrates that uh, air transport is a critical driver of economic growth and job creation uh, in Africa, well, with extensive benefits that ripple through various sectors, particularly uh, on tourism. So to discuss with this, the industry has a catalytic impact, which uh, underscores its importance in fostering economic development and connectivity across the continent. All right, uh, let's move on to our next slide. All right, for this one. So uh, this image uh, represents a comparison of the share of world population and the share of world air services across different regions, uh, highlighting the potential for growth in air service in Africa. So as for the brief explanation, uh, okay, we're just gonna focus on Africa. Uh, for the population, we have 15% and for the air service, is we do have 4%. So to discuss this, Africa has a significant portion of the world's population, or around 15%, but a very small share of the world air services, which is 4% only, like, like uh, I mentioned a while ago. Uh, for main reasons for this uh, disparity in Africa includes, uh, number one is low GDP per capita. Second is weak tourism. Third is market fragmentation. So uh, the African air service market is still, its, is still in its uh, early stages, indicating that it is a significant potential for, for growth and development. So potentially there is a still chance for improvement uh, for this uh, results. Okay, uh, let's move on to our next slide. All right, thank you. So, all right. Uh, okay, so for economic growth of the aerospace industry, uh, let's say uh, for market segmentation. So uh, it is a diverse and growing with several distinct market segments. So there are some different companies here basically contributing to its uh, economic development. So to give you a breakdown for the primary market segments within the African aerospace industry and their contributions as well to economic growth, First one is we do have the commercial aviation, which is the passenger airlines. So we do have for the key players, we do have Ethiopian Airlines, Southern Africa, uh, Kenya Airways, and also Egypt Air. So those were like the growth drivers for this uh, economy, economy. So number one is we have increasing middle class population. Second is expanding uh, intra-African connectivity. Third is Liberalization of air traffic under initiatives like the Single African Air Transport Market, which is the SAATM. And as for the economic impact, uh, significant job creation in aviation is basically, uh, they are related to each industries. So it boosts tourism and businesses travel also. And also it enhances regional integration and trade. So that's one for the uh, commercial aviation. Next one is we do have for the cargo airlines. Uh, key players for this one is Ethiopian, Ethiopian Cargo, Astral Aviation, and Egypt Air Cargo. So uh, we do have 
for the rising demand for efficient logistics and supply chain solutions and growth in e-commerce and perishable goods transportation. And as well for the economic impact, uh, they promote uh, agricultural exports and also support trade and export oriented industries, uh, specifically on other countries internationally. And yeah, we also have the general aviation, specifically on private and business uh, aviation. And also for space and satellite technology, uh, to give a brief discussion, uh, we also have the need for, uh, they also have the need for satellite-based communication and weather forecasting, specifically on government and private sector investments. So for regional collaborations like the African Space Policy, as for the effect on the economic impact, they promote scientific research and education, and also they boost telecommunication, telecommunication and broadcasting specifically on the uh, internet uh, services. And apart from that, uh, it then also enhances the disaster management and environmental monitoring. So to give a, a brief conclusion for this uh, report, uh, uh, the aerospace industry in Africa is segmented into various markets, each contributing to economic growth in distinctive ways. So from commercial and uh, general relation aviation, to defense space technology, uh, basically it is a continued investment. Uh, regulatory improvements and regional cooperation are uh, one of the main key uh, to, to sustain and accelerate this growth. So yeah, okay, moving on to the next one. All right, we have also the uh, cost of operation in the space industry in Africa. So the cost of operating in the space industry in Africa is heavily influenced by various factors, including the infrastructure, fuel prices, uh, regulatory environment, labor costs, and market dynamics. So below uh, is a detailed breakdown of this cost. So, okay, I'm just going to mention it. Uh, we do have the air airport fees. So within airport fees, we do have the landing, parking, and terminal fees that can be high, uh, especially in major hubs like uh, Johann Johannesburg, Lagos, and Nairobi. So these are the sub-cities in, in Africa. So apart from that, also the investment in airport infrastructure to modernize and expand facilities also contributes to overall uh, operational cost. And second major is we do have the fuel cost specifically on jet fuel prices. And yeah, for jet, jet fuel prices uh, in Africa, they are typically higher than the global average due to limited uh, refining capacity and import reliance. So apart from this, also the fluctuations in global oil prices can significantly impact fuel costs. So third, as we also have the taxes and surcharges imposed by governments also contribute to higher fuel prices. And number three is, we're also gonna talk about the labor cost. Basically for labor cost, right? Uh, we do have the salaries and wages. So for labor cost, it can vary widely across the continent with a higher wages in more developed markets like South Africa compared to lower costs in other regions. Uh, skilled labor such as pilots, engineers, and maintenance technicians, uh, they command uh, higher salary, salaries due to scarcity. So for the fourth one, uh, I think maintenance and overhaul, overhaul costs, which is the MRO services, uh, they can be costly, especially if it's outsourced to foreign providers due to limited local capabilities. So investments in local MRO facilities like uh, those in Ethiopian and South Africa, they aim to reduce these costs over time. So, okay, to, to give a conclusion, uh, investments in local capabilities, uh, uh, specifically on the efficient management practices and regional cooperations are essential strategies for mitigating these costs and fostering su sustainable growth in the African airspace sector. So, yep, okay, moving on. Okay, as for the summary, uh, okay, the maintenance, repair, and overhaul for aerospace manufacturing system integration, uh, engineering, and design 
on education and training are just few of the many uh, sub sectors that make up the airspace industry, uh, specifically in Africa. So every sub sector is essential to the advancement of science, technology, and international connectivity. So this industry affects how we travel, uh, defend our countries, and explore space, representing the pursuit of uh, innovation and advancement of uh, humanity. Okay, uh, moving on. So, okay, next slide, please. Uh, okay, so these are the references for our uh, report and presentation. Thank you, doctor and classmates for listening to our report. Okay, thank you very much, uh, group four, uh, pre uh, presenting Africa. So we have Mubarak, Dayan, Dane, and uh, uh, Nori Ibrahim. Right, so it's quite interesting eh, to see that uh, Africa, even though um, probably before this, we do not know what's going on in, in Africa, eh? meaning that there's, there's not, not much information about uh, Africa, especially in the aerospace industry, right? So, but as being presented just now, there are a lot of, a lot of uh, growth uh, in, in Africa. There are a lot of opportunities, okay? And um, uh, the um, aspect of the analysis on the uh, economic growth, eh? quite, quite uh, comprehensive just now, right? looking into uh, the opportunities for uh, industry growth, economic industry growth in in Africa.